it's pod time yes let's go <laughs> okay let me share this out on my discord and then i'm gonna um i'm still humming that song though and thank you for the like you guys rock i'm gonna copy paste I'm gonna be singing that the whole stream. <laughs> if you guys can you guys hear my fan in the background? Cause I have it on because um it's like really hot in my room, so yeah. Just let me know if it's like too loud, I can just turn it off I guess and bake the live in here. Okay, good. Alright, so let's go back to YouTube. And yeah. <clears throat> Cameron, damn, my legs hurt a lot, kinda. If you just now turning in and you play the game, please just Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, actually, let me pin that comment, Maddie, please. Because I do not need to be spoiled. This is all like a uh, blind. <clears throat> so you you can kind of hear it oh my god pogma yes okay as long as it's not too too loud you know what? i'll just turn it off right now it's, it's fine if i bake a live it's fine it's fine uh, you guys are worth it there uh, if i bake a live i bake a live okay let me just walk on Move my mic over on this side because it'll be easier for me. Sorry about the noise. Maddie. Emma. And anybody else? Okay. So far, just. Oh! Solemn, you literally. I literally just saw your name. <laughs> and Solar Me. Solar Pod. How are you, Solar Me? You ready for more Phoenix? Hi, Maddie. It's okay. Turn it back on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I already turned it back. I'm not getting back up. I am not getting back up. Nope. You guys already know. I don't like to get up from my bed. Or chair, technically. Okay, so let me switch over to the other overlay. Okay. I think last where we left off, we were talking to Mia and she or Mia or Maya I don't, I don't know who it was yeah, let me load it up Dang, this game came out when my brother was born Jesus <laughs> I mean a lot of games were like, like kind of retro I mean Mario Kart was I mean the Mario Kart that we play now you know, it came out because, like, the, the the older ones were, like, you know, their first. So, it's, like, it's... You gotta give respect to, like, you know... What? Oh, yeah, her voice was soft. What? Prosecutor Von Karma, you mean? Wait, what, what would I left off from? No, I heard it's his successor this time. Wait, did, am I on the right case? What case is this? I don't remember anything. I don't. I missed a lot. I don't forget what happened last time we played. Nah, it's okay. So let me. Okay, so let me look at the court record to see. All right. I remember this newspaper clipping. One year ago, on May second, um, fourteen patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Okay. The diorama of the okay, I remember the channeling chamber. That's where he got stabby stabbies and jabbies jabbies. And this is where Pearlies talked to us with her adorable voice. And then this is where that 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 girl that said like all the time was like, 
saying like oh my god like like and and i was literally like so happy that i was able to voice act her because she it was just easy for me to like speak look let me look at your last stream oh don't um <laughs> oh don't do the voice maya's mag magnetama slightly translucent it radiates soft it radiates softly with a mysterious light newspaper clipping to mimi miney nurse at gray surgical clinic died after falling asleep at the wheel oh. folding screen about eight inches off the ground is a small hole looks like a bullet hole and a black key a s an old steel key a gray a green jewel is set in the center of the keys grip okay let me see the profiles so dr gray's anatomy ass is um he's he's the one that got stabby stabbies he had like a uh i guess a clinic or something so yeah and then here's mia she was arrested on suspicion of murder because she was she her and him was in that room together the channel change room and mia is maya's sister but she got stabby stabbies too Gray's anatomy ass. What? <laughs> you was talking to Mia. That's my. Okay. Maya, Mia, whatever. You guys already know. And this person's name, which I'm not going to say the first part because that's crazy. And Pearlie's. The adorable pug. And then Morgan Faye is Pearlie's mom, apparently. But Morgan Faye is also my. Maya's. Okay, Mor Morgan Faye is Pearl's mom, and she is Maya's aunt? Yes. Okay, so Pearl and Maya is cousins. And Eeny Meeny, or is it Eeny Meeny or Eeny Miny? She's the one who's apparently the older sister of Mimi who died in the car accident. And this is Mimi. She's the one who died last year at the Grey's Anatomy Clinic, whatever. And then Lada Heart is just... Uh, she's the photographer, I guess. I don't know. And then that's it. So that's all the people that I know. What happened to Mia? Oh, she... Um, In the first... Okay. In the first game that I was able to... Why well, didn't... I didn't stream, like, when... Because um, it happened so early. Basically... <clears throat> Mia... She was um, at her office, and um, some guy broke into her office. And well, this is kind of like spoilers of the first game, but basically, she she got smacked in the head with a blunt object, and she passed out, and she died right there. She was she was um she was discovered by her sister. So Maya found out that her sister died in her office because she when she went inside the office and she saw her body on the floor. She was traumatized, so yeah. And she went to Phoenix for help. She's like, who can do this to my sister? And Mia was Phoenix, you know, mentor or whatever. He's, he, she basically taught him everything she knows. And and another thing that what I learned in the other game was that Maya, she, she has like this power, like where she comes from, she can channel like the dead people, like the, her spirits or whatever. And like they, she, she literally transformed her whole body into them. So she was time to time transformed into like her sister. <laughs> this sounds crazy. And like she would take over these names are very creative. <laughs> oh, the eeny meeny miny yeah. And you know, I'm just playing because I feel like I'm this game is just a lot of talking. Manfred von Karma was a really good min minister man. He put he Sinister. I don't know why I say minister. He's not my minister. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks, all so he could win. I'm starting to remember all the voice acting. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. Yeah, he was the other prosecutor in the other game. He looked like that. I gave him like a Russian, a, a angry Russian accent. Like, I don't know like how to even like describe it, but he had a perfect record for 40 long years. God dang. Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those guilty verdicts and now his successor i would i wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be mm, i don't know 
we live yes maddie we live it's pearly pearly as fuck yes uh it's not it's not good mystic maya <gasps> oh my god pearly you showed up thanks for coming all this way how what what voice did i give pearl oh i remember now i was really worried about you Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you come? You two come together? Mother is watching over the tweenies. She said they have tweening for two days straight with new boots. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so little. I know, right? Wait, so there's a case so far. So what's the case so far? Just. Just so I can get a good idea. Oh, I was I was explaining it in the beginning. Oh, you missed it? Crap. Oh, okay, don't ever hear that again. Wait, who's calling me? Um, give me like three seconds because... Okay, so my pizza's here. Give me like one second, guys. I'm so sorry, this stream is so dysfunctional. Okay, okay, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Sorry about that, sorry about that. Okay, you guys are all serious. Okay, so basically, I sent Gemma an edit, and now I remember, again, you better not be eating some nectar. No, I'm not eating nectar. <laughs> no, that's disgusting. Nectar is eating nectar. But, okay, so basically, this case, um, Solomu is about, this case is about this guy who got murderized. And we're trying to find out, like, um, what happened, basically. Apparently, I collected enough clues, because it's, it's been a while since I played this, this particular game, because, um, some personal stuff. I had to take a break from streaming a bit, um, but I, well, you, you guys already know. Um, but Maya was in the room with Dr. Gray. And she obviously is the number one prime suspect that, you know, hey, you know, she was the last person seen with the person so she's like accused as a killer and um yeah he's the detective of the case uh pearly is the is the daughter of her i i honestly don't really remember too much of these other people but we're just gonna learn together that's all that's all i remember that dr gray got murdered and maya her she got accused of it so and we're we're just you know phoenix right the lawyer just trying to defend her huh then then you came by yourself Yep, I snuck out of the manual and I followed the map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not. I win. That's I can't. Oh my! If it takes two hours by train, <laughs> oh my god! Wait, she ran. What the heck, dude? That's crazy. Welcome back, Jammers. Thank you, Maddie and Emma. 
stop. Yeah, okay. So you, you get you, you get the idea, right? So let me... There's Pearl. Hold on, wait, let me... Damn, she's like a baby Scott. That's what I'm saying. There's Pearl, but where is Marina? And that, okay, I think that was like... Well, technically, they weren't even allowed. This game came out way before Splatoon or whatever. Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a train? Aw, that's so cute. She's even you know. I give up. It's time, Eden. Um, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who is that? The voice is so adorable. Right <laughs> now, I'm trying to like... I'm trying to uh, channel my adorable pog energy. Um, he's Nick's rival. Uh, <clears throat> well, he's also a friend. Objection! Huh? Oh, Edgeworth! Oh my god! Oh my god, I love- I'm- He needs to come back. I- They say that he- He went away or he's gone forever. I don't know where he is. I still remember him as though I seen him only yesterday. Objection! <gasps> <Weezy>! Welcome! <laughs> Hold on, let me welcome Weezy. Just in time, Weezy. Welcome. I know you you want some Phoenix Wright in your life. The Chinese part, exactly. <laughs> the edgy man. Oh my god. Every trial. Oh. Every trial was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end. Objection! Objection! Yeah. It was always back and forth with them, but. When your rivals were lying. Maya, please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot. You don't know. He's he's gone and he's not coming back. Yeah, they kept saying that. I'm like, what do you mean gone? What? Wait, wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court of Font. Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Let's go. Now it's not the time to talk about that anyway. Nick? I don't know what happened to him, dude. Like, we gotta know what happened to Edgeworth. Like, I finally made it last night. I was like, yes. Oh, hey, Weezy. How you doing, Weezy? I'm right. <clears throat> the Weez Blaster, Maddie. <clears throat> Welcome back, Kim. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? No. Oh! It's a her? It's a her? I didn't know. I thought it was gonna be another guy. What is this kid? Kid? What? Mr. Wright, are you prepared? Huh? Uh, yes, sir. I, I still can't find a Phoenix right voice. I think I gave him like a British accent, but I feel like I don't know. I, I probably just slowly would turn into like a Joyzy accent to like an Australian accent and an angry everything. I'm just it's just everywhere at this point. I remember the judge Jets calling Mochi do the new Joyzy for her. <laughs> no, I think I have a I think I have a voice. I'll do like a a female Russian accent. Then I'll do my best female Russian accent. Mr. Phoenix Vite. <clears throat> You must be a little shocked because I am a woman, correct? Hold on. So she's the famed successor to Professor Von Karma. I am Francisca Von Karma, the prodigy. <laughs> Green screen, objection. Oh my god. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Why? Why everyone out for revenge? These words are pretty good. I'm trying my best. I'm doing a horrible Russian accent, by the way. Whoever is Russian, I'm sorry. Please, like, don't come at me. Revenge. Is this about her father, Von Manfred Von Karma? Insert a lot of Ace Tony jokes here. <laughs> Hold on, let me welcome Green Squid. How are you, Green Squid? 
Alright, um, if there's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can- Yo! I'm talking. If you interrupt again, my vip will do this speaking for me. Please speak with their mouth, not like normal people. I beg of you. Yow. Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix Light. Damn, I got a whole bit. I'm good, how about you? I'm good too. You're being scared, and that's good. Prosecutor Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Those of Von Karma blood have no, have only one fate, and that is perfection. The defendant Maya Fay will find no escape from her guilty, from her guilt on my watch. You gotta like replace the W's with V's for like. All of these accents are like. Very well. What is the defense's position, Your Honor? Does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes. It it changes its plea. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense. I mean that is that is a thing i forgot like if you murder like somebody but you did it because your life was in danger then they but like you can get off the hook though you won't be charged for like being a murderer right i don't know a plea usually referred for when a person unintentionally yeah kills in defense for themselves yeah it's like a life or death kind of thing like if you were cornered in a you know life or death battle like i'm sorry my life matters too like i'm gonna stabby stabby i don't want to but i have to we could very easily make a solid case that it was self-defense but the defense stands by the plea of not guilty your honor damn because the plea justifies self-defense is to say you did kill someone yeah it is true how foolish. If that's how you want to play, Mr. Phoenix Knight, then I, sh I shall now call the first witness. She's just so scary as her father, like, like father, like daughter, I suppose. It's like father, like son, not. Right? Witness, your name and occupation. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is, I'm not saying that word, gumshoe. It's, I'm a detective at the local precinct. Ah! Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of the murder. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, um, everyone would please look at this map. Oh my god, not him. <laughs> I know. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Channeling a spirit? This is quite the look of this loop there, Your Honor. Yeah. Uh, anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke... I should give him a, a, a action hero voice. A few of the witnesses broke down the door. <clears throat> broke the door down and rushed into the room. Ah, and that's when they found the victim was already dead, correct? How do you die that quickly, though? Like, you at least, like, bleed out. Like, you don't die instantly. Unless it was, like, a shot to the head or something. Hmm, I believe... Wait, was he shot in the head? Where's, where's the autopsy report? I don't have anything. How am I even in court right now? Like, hmm, I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever proceeded to. Like... Where's the freaking autopsy report? Like, I don't have anything. Like, what? So, how was the victim killed? Yeah! I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. Cause of death. 
The direct cause of death was a pistol shot. Oh, okay. There we go. To the forehead. All right. The shot was fired from point blank range. Yikes. But before the victim was stabbed, was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. Okay, so he was stabbed first and then shot. The stab is very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Wait, but who brought a gun in there? Why would you even have a gun in there in the first place? Like, hmm. So the victim was stabbed. So the victim was stabbed before the shot. Before being shot. This is the victim's... Okay, now I finally get the autopsy report. After being stabbed in the chest, he was shot in the forehead at point blank. <clears throat> the court accept accepted it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question a witness. He was even a witness. It was me. I remember it was me and that, that um, Morgan Faye and Lotta Hart. It was all three of us outside the channel. I think I remember. Okay, let's press everything. Because I... What's the press option? Because I'm not trying to mess up. L. Okay. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead. Alright. Let's get all the information out. Why would they even bring... That's what I was saying. Like... I don't even know whose gun that is. Is it Maya's or the doctor's? Like, the murder weapon, the detective gumshoe. Who, yeah, whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. What? Why would he bring a gun in there? The victim. Now, why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who has? The point that you are making is whose fingerprints are on the pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I will suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along, along with the victims, the defendant, my face, were also on the grip, sir. That is kind of hard to prove. Okay, back. Alright, welcome back. It's gonna be Maya. <clears throat> so the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Ugh, I walked right into her hands there. Jesus. Shot was fired from point blank range. Okay, we're gonna press that as well. Wait, yes. Welcome back. Point blank range. Point blank, huh? So how... F so about how far away is that? It's anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how would you know he was shot at point blank? Tsk, 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 Mr. Phoenix Vise. I grow tired of your foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. Oh my god. She's already annoying me right now. Excuse me. Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gets really hot, pal. And there was definitely some gunpowder burns left at the victim's forehead. Oh. So, yeah, that was really like up close then. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that makes sense, yeah. Okay. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. Okay, let's press that one. Stabbed? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was that? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my fingerprints are all over it. Oh my god. Hmm, all over, huh? Uh, yeah, it's, it does, I don't think we can, I mean, we, we, I don't want to think that way. We, we got this, we got this, we got this. Ha ha ha. What will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Lights? Why is she so cocky? The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. Let's press that. 
How severe was the wound? If it had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. Hmm. This testimony makes it sound like Maya had stabbed him with the intent to kill. But like, why would... Okay, why would Maya want to stab him? And why did he bring a gun? None of this makes sense. Like, I don't get it. Like, why? The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as it can be. One look at the wound and you'll come to, to the same conclusion too, pal. Okay. A fool is a fool who will, who will only listen to the foolish options of the foolish fools. Oh my god. A pistol shot from the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instant instantly. Does it matter then which came first? Think a little more before you open your big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix Light. What a pain. We have certainly we have certainly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons in with me today. Okay. Very well. The court accepts them as evidence. Okay, the pistol. Um murder weapon with graze was graze. Two shots fired, bears, Maya's and Gray's fingerprints. Murder weapon, a small fruit knife belongs to the face, bears Maya's fingerprints. The date and time of death was June 19th, 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claimed to have heard two gunshots at the time. Huh? Where's my phone? I don't know what it is. And two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them, huh? Hmm, this does seem like an open and shut case. Not to thee. Oh god, this is going from bad to worse. As if the summary just now was oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there is no room left for that, is there? That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's the wrong voice for him. Oh well. Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the option... It's the option of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See, just as I promise, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You will change your plea in less than 10 minutes. It hasn't been 10 minutes? Bro, she's annoying someone. Give me a Mickey Mouse. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> what will you do? Wait, I can choose? Will you change your justified plea of the birth? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. Wait. This is a huge decision. I bet. Wait, I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't know you could change. Plead justified self-defense. Plead not guilty. Oh my god. What do you guys think I should do? Okay, I, I'll say this. We went in here thinking that Maya is innocent. There's no freaking way. But it's like. If she did it out of self-defense, but then how they making it seem like, oh, she stabbed him first, and then he shot her. But like, I don't know. Not guilty. Yeah, I'm. I'm I want to say not guilty too. I don't want to give no wrong answers. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Maya. I mean, not Maya. Emma. Oh my God. See, I'm calling you Maya. She could have. She could be innocent or not. Hmm. No way, self-defense. That's up to y'all. Oh my god, Karen, don't, don't do this. Don't, don't change your answer. Okay, I, I'll i go with my gut. Because I didn't think... I initially thought that she was... Because I remember... I don't know. It's just... 
I remember Phoenix saying something about like, oh, she's not, she's not, um, the murderer. We'll, we'll get through this. Well, he was believing in her, and Maya just lost all hope. I think self defense. My Emma dead scolding. Was he keep calling you Maya? Oh my god, still in you. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, she might be not guilty. Okay, so we're just gonna go on not guilty only because Phoenix Wright said not guilty. And if I'm wrong, then you know what? I'm wrong. We're just gonna have to take that L. So, yeah, we're just gonna have to take that L. If we plead such justified self defense, we will basically be confessing to murder. Exactly. After the trial, Maya's life will be ruined and she'll be labeled as a murderer. Yeah, but it'll be out of defense though. Oh my god. Can't let that happen. Your Honor, have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of a complete acquittal. Ooh. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Detective. Y yes, sir. Present the final portion of your testimony, the final strike. Um, yes, your honor. I mean, your sir, kindness, whatever. No, see here, proceedings are run by... <laughs> oh, yes, uh, of course, go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Oh, damn, push, put... On Mickey Mouse gloves. Oh my god, stop. What is this incriminating evidence? Sorry, pal, but there is an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. Okay. As you can see, it's covered in blood. Okay, what do we see here? Okay. Doesn't she have like a belt or something? Like that white belt she wears. What's that? What is that? Is that a hole? The defense attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Hmm. Bullet hole. Yeah, maybe. So, this is the costume. You're sure we... There's... There certainly is evidence of a back spray. Ugh. Like, so when you stab someone, does it really, like, juice out like that? Like, that's disgusting. Like, ugh. It might be water. Oh, my God, no. Or maybe, like, Kool-Aid. Cherry Kool-Aid. The medicine flavor. This piece directly links Maya Faye to the crime, sir. <laughs> Ew, I know. <laughs> I, see. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Alright, so we got Maya's costume. Clothes Maya was wearing at the time of the moida. There were there are blood splatters on it. Ugh. Alright, Mr. Wright. Maya's fingerprints are on both winter weapons and the blood splatters on her clothes. Could the situation get any worse? Ha! What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution have to offer. Feel free to suck off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh my god. Please stop calling me by my full name, Mr. Stur- Yeah, she says his full name. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Alright, let's press everything here. If this girl does not- <laughs> Sorry, pal. More incriminating. All right, so let's press this. My PC getting cold. Why didn't you say so in your testimony earlier? Uh, you're kind of scary today, you know, pal. Come now, Mr. Wright. There's no need for that kind of attitude in my court. All right, just, just stop glaring at me like that. I'm scared. I'm balding. This is the, this is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. Oh wait, I forgot to go back to the... Alright, let me press this one, sorry. Maya's costume? Yeah, she was wearing that when we arrested her. Maya, she's wearing her channeling costume today, too. So, 
Is she not allowed to wear anything else? As you can see, it's covered in blood. There's blood on the costume. Labrador showed it is in victims. Mm. Hmm, so there is blood from the victim and defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So there were any other clues you, were there any other clues you can glean from this piece of evidence? Um well Oh that's her voice? I never knew that. If you must change the topic, then the good detectives there must testify again. But that too, not enough time. Let's move on. I'll give her a Russian accent, oh, that's, that's fine. Ah uh, yes, Miss Von Kramer is perfectly correct. <sighs> now even the judge is on our side. <laughs> but if I bite off more than I can chew here, what should I do? Uh, press? I don't know, we gotta get more information. I hate when they give me choices like this, I don't know. Why is Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? She obviously wants me to like not know something. There must be a reason to why she saw me throw out an objection like that. Yeah, I don't know, Press. There must be a something about this costume. You just have to look harder. I mean, there's a freaking bullet hole in there. You don't have to look hard at all. Like, literally, just open your eyes. Mr. Wright. Miss Von Karma, logic is perfect. There is no way for you to poke a hole in it. What is that judge, dude? The hole? Oh, wait. Looks like my time is up, so about the costume. There's nothing wrong. Wait, there is! How do they not... Oh, my freaking God. How do they not see the damn bullet hole? There is one little thing. These people are blind. Is anyone wearing glasses? They can just give it to him. The judge and the long karma. Actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. Whooped? What are you talking about, pal? And Detective Gumshoe, too. They all need glasses. Oh, I think she see that she just wanted to like, not say nothing, maybe. Well, where's the problem? What are you talking about? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. Wait, I had to point it out. Well, why is there a life bar? Wait. This. This is the only thing. Wait, how do I press? There is. There is. The whole baby glass. Yeah, they do. I think the court. I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of the costume. The sleeve? There is a tiny hole here. A hole? But that wasn't in the report. Hold on. What's this around the hole? It smells a faint of gunpowder. Gunpowder? No one ever told me. How the hell are you a detective? Oh my god. What is wrong with these people? A hole that smells of gunpowder. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make you can make is that it must be a bullet hole. I don't have pizza in me. I can't read right now. Order, order, order. This is a very grave matter. It's best we correct... Actually, let me speak close to my thing. It's best we correct the court record before anything else. Okay. Clothes Maya was wearing at the time of the murder. Press the check button for details. The check button? Wait. Wait. Check button? Wait, let me check it right now. Wait. Check? Oh, okay, okay. Just the picture of it. Okay. Sorry about that. I guess you messed up. Is... Is she actually smiling? What else is she hiding? Prove yourself together, detective. That tiny hole that doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That just now was a fluke. Nothing more. Objection! How can you just 
how can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. Well, I agree it is a mistake on the part of the police. What Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more definitive problem with the evidence, then... No way. Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, sir. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting- Oh, So that's why we discovered that. It literally just clicked on me! Okay, so we had to discover that- Okay, so because we got the robe that with the bloody thing at the front, they're like, okay, she stabbies him, the blood juice has got into his shirt, but- he was not fighting back. He said he was not fighting back, but obviously you see the bullet hole in the freaking sleeves. So do I... Do I press this or do I present? I'm gonna press it first. I'm gonna press it first. He wasn't fighting back. How do you know if he was not? He c could find... We could find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of struggle, pal. Hmm... So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, oh, depending on this, the, cir the circumstances around this murder changes drastically. Uh, we're in real trouble now. If only there was something to prove that. Okay, okay. So I do have to present the. I gotta present the the thing. I gotta, I know what I gotta do. Okay, I gotta present. Oh, let me go this way. Wait. Um, yeah, I gotta present this. Detective Gumshoe, cause I'm not saying that word. Yes. Yeah, have you calling, having you call me by my full name is kind of weird. You said my client killed a person who without a doubt was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlooked supposed to mean? Gotta go. I might be back. Okay, Maddie. Thanks for stopping by. Oh my god, my legs are cramping up again. I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Is that what it means to not fight back? Ah, you're right. It seems you're correct. If the victim had tried to shoot the victim, then it would change everything. Alright, the wind seems to be shifting. Ha. What is with that, are you finished? <laughs> are you finished yet, love? Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Knight? Miss Von Cormo. It seems my affair was shot by the victim. However, that is only grand enough to support a justified self-defense plea. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense said clear clearly said. They rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Oh, that's right. You everything was going by automatically. I didn't press anything. Which means the defense has yet to prove anything at all. No. Well, that is true. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the custom is not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. If anything, it probably... Hmm... I just still don't know why the heck they brought a freaking knife and a gun. Like, why? Would they want to kill each other or something? Like... Huh? How so? Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that, that day. With the new information we acquired added, added in, of course. Oh, you mean by myself? You want me to pull together the scenario all by myself? Ah. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. 
whipping. He's a whipping bully. What transpired? During the channeling, the defen the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Okay. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two weren't fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because there was they were too close, he missed. The victim then picked up on the opening, looked at the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm. But that's weird, though. Because I remember there was two gunshots. Okay, so the first one... Oh, wait. No, it's not weird. I remember now. So the first one he missed, and the second one he got shot. Okay, okay. In the head. All right. This scenario you have put together makes sense, okay? Yes, sir. Whoa, Mr. Wright. On the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. Yeah, like, there has to be something, like... There's no way it's that black and white. Like, no case, even in the world of, like... In the real world, like, there's no, like, murder case file that's, like, perfect. Like, you have all the perfect evidence. You have everything. The blood, the fingerprints, everything. Like, there's nothing is perfect. Please refrain from glaring at me like that. No, then. Your cross examination, please. <laughs> yeah, we gotta find something. We'll find something. Okay, during the channeling, oh, we choose to stop the victim. Okay, let's, pre let's press everything. There is quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. Add in body strength, and it is, and it seems unlikely the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess. Objection! You think you can get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Maya Fey was in the middle of channeling, was she not? When channeling with the Kyrian, Kyrian channeling technique, the medium physically changes. With the nurse's build, the defendant could have easily been a match for the doctor. Hmm. I don't believe it. She even studied up on the, ch the Kyrian, whatever. Like I said before, I am perfect. Mm. Uh, about what you were talking about, I didn't quite get it. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's continue with this. <laughs> oh my god, the judge is so lost. Of course, the victim used the last bit of his strength. Okay, let's press this one. So he stabbed. He was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. Yes. But if you think about the blood loss, he was probably hurt badly. But how badly hurt would you say he was? Actually, I went to give blood the other day, and after I felt a little lightheaded from dizzy, I guess the damage was maybe about 10 times the dizzy. <laughs> ah! Sorry. While the two were fighting, the victim plot his gun. Okay, let's press that. Where in the world did the pistol- That's what I was saying, like... It looks like the victim, Dr. Graves, has specifically brought it in for that day. That's what I'm saying. So he wanted to murderize him. <gasps> he he, I didn't know Gemma was online. Yes, he he. How are you? You're playing more Phoenix Wright. Welcome, he he. He poggy, hi. <laughs> But a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before the murder. Why would- why did Dr. Ray bring a gun? Was he taking precautions against something? The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. Alright, let's press that. Oh my god, thank you for the five likes. So you're saying that the bullet hole in this costume was made then? Me. Hey, hee hee. 
It's so pearl, but yeah, that's what I think. Two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. Maya, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. The defendant then picked up the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Alright, so let's press this final thing. Hee <laughs> hee, hi. <laughs> How's your ears, hee hee? And I and how was your vacation? I remember last time we spoke, he was like, "You're still on um." And was it LA with the the Mario Kart? It was was it Mar Mario something Mario Land or Mario 3D Land or something? Maya has never fired a gun before in her life. The victim had already taken off the safety. For the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it just by pulling the trigger. Even me, I wonder. <laughs> now do you understand? Evan Kama's logic is perfect. His testimony certainly makes us look very bad. But there's gotta be a contract in there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to be is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. Okay. All right. So let's see what we can present. So what do we have as evidence? Avidons. Okay. We have this folding screen with the bullet hole eight inches off the ground. We have this, we have this black key. What is? Why do we have this black key? Four plans. The grains and enemies. Uh. Autopsy, red weapon, the knife, and Maya's costume. Okay, so we have these as Abidons. During a channeling team, the defendant saw a chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last bit of his strength to fight back. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. Wait, the victim used the last bit of his strength. We were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. I don't think he was close. I don't think he was close, no? Because didn't they say... They say if you have like, yeah, it's supposed to have like burn marks if it's too close. So I don't know. It, maybe the burn marks dried up. I don't. I don't know. But wait. Point blank range. Can I examine this? I can't click on it. Let me see. This looks. I don't think this has burn marks. I think she. Oh my God! It just came to me. It just came to me. Oh my God! Okay, okay, okay. So here's my theory, right? Remember how we found out this sleeve has that same little hole right and there were i believe at the time they said there were two gunshots one was fired from the victim like well i guess barely any strength that he had and then the second shot maya or they said maya took the gun or whoever the, the, this my person transformed into whatever took the gun and she shot him in the head so my theory is this so Maya was, I guess, next to, she was next to this folding screen, but because of how low this, this thing is, like she was bending over. Like, I don't know, like, like she, she was bending to get something. So, like, her sleeve got caught. Either way, I... I, 
don't know what what to present. So hold on, wait. the the victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. I need to present either this folding screen or ah, oh, which one do I present though? Because I feel like it's this folding screen or this this cloth. Because I don't think they were close. Because if he if he wanted to shot at her, he would he would just aim he would just angle her. His, 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 uh, whatever, up. His wrist upwards to aim at her face or something. But, like, how did this bullet hole and that folding screen had the same exact, like... It doesn't make any sense. Like, she wasn't close to him. Oh my god, Sans! Welcome, Sans. Oops, that is not how you spell welcome. Well... Sans. How are you, Sans? Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna just present this folding screen because it just seems like... I don't know. I, I feel like I'm wrong. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. The defense did pick up the gun and no. Took a shot, but because they were so close, he missed. Oh my god, I'm gonna just go with my gut. I'll just go with the folding screen. Oh my god, the music is still there. I'm wrong. No! Okay, okay. Oh, can I remind what did I miss? What are we trying to do again? Sorry. We gotta approve. So, with every, like, case, like, at court, we have to, um... Basically, we have to pick apart people's testimonies to find a contradiction or a lie. Or at least something that we can, like, prove not happening. Or at least maybe if they remembered wrong, wrongly or incorrectly, whatever it is, like, we have to make sure we can, like, counter it somehow. So that's what I was trying to do. His testimony was like, oh, because they were so close, he missed. I was thinking, I don't think she was close to Dr. Gray. I think she was near the folding screen because that has the same like level of like eight inches off the ground and like her sleeves obviously if she's standing if she's standing up she's not eight inches off the ground so she, I'm thinking like she probably was over there or at least like bending over doing something in general and then he shot her or tried to shoot her I don't know anymore but the statement contradicts the evidence uh, it does. I don't see... Uh, yeah, I'm already wrong. I already know it. I already know it. Yeah, I'm already wrong. So it's not the folding screen. I have to... Like, basically, I have to pick Solomu with his entire test... With Detective Gumshoe's entire testimony from the start. Hold on. From the start of his testimony, I gotta find a section that I have to... Why well, I already pressed everything. I already pressed the press button to get all the information out. But I have to present the, the R button. I have to present one of these, like, little evidence that I have in my court record to prove like to prove a lie basically so I'm thinking okay of course the victim used the last bit of his strength to fight back okay after he was stabbed okay that makes sense while the two were fighting the victim took out his gun while the two were fighting but he could easily over overpower her Wait, but, but how, how did he have last... So, they said the last bit of his strength. But then, they were like, oh, the two were fighting. So, if he was already weak... I, I don't... Okay, so... I don't know which part to present the evidence. But I basically have to present something. Do I... Do I wait, do I present the knife? Hey, what does the knife say? Murder weapon, a small fruit knife, belongs to the phase, bears my fingerprints. Murder weapon, Dr. Grace, two shots fired, bears Maya's and Grace fingerprints. Autopsy stabbed in the chest, then shot at point blank. Gunpowder residue from bullet hole. Okay. Hmm.
the victim took a shot but because they were too close he missed i think i don't think she was close to him all right since i already presented this folding screen i'm gonna present the clothes with the freaking bullet hole in it because i don't know what else to present oh i was right missing the tiny hole on this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. Okay, I was right. I wasn't right about the folding screen though, but what do you mean? I just I just think because she was near the folding screen, the folding screen also had that little hole, so I'm thinking that she wasn't near him because of that. But I don't know which one to present first to prove that. This little hole was actually created a huge hole in your testimony. Uh, that's funny. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then there would have been gunpowder burn at the costume. On the costume. Gunpowder burn? This is when you testified earlier. This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from a point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Oh... But there is no, not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. I don't even know what it would look like. I just thought she was near the, the folding screen. But I guess I did this, the same thing anyway. This is very, this is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Yeah, okay, at least that's where I was going for. They weren't, they were not close to each other. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Lights. You think you can put a hole in me in my logic with that? With wishy washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything away. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of the fight, the victim pushed the, the defendant away. And it was then where, it was then, then, they were separated, that he fired. How was that? He's like, no. As if it was even possible. According to the testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim could not have had the strength to put the defendant very far after that. But then... That's right, the defendant must have pushed the victim away. After the stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then while she was preparing the strike again, the doctor took a shot. There, that should have satisfied you, even to you. Hmm, that does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Um, no. I think... I must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. Oh my god, don't put the life bar, please. I, I don't, I don't like this life bar. I don't like this. My, okay, contradict and think. Concentrate and think. It makes sense. Something doesn't make sense. Um, I don't even know what she said, to be honest. I forgot. <laughs> Uh, okay, if I say it makes sense, that means that I'm agreeing with her. So, why would I agree with, like, an evil person? So, I'll just disagree to at least see that. Something doesn't make sense. There is a fatal flaw in her argument. Your Honor. I don't know what it is, but I just had to like at least disagree with her. Because I didn't want to game over. Because I feel like if I agree with anybody who was like down to get Maya, it's just an instant game over or something. Very interesting. I would love to see where this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. That's been a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put her distance between them. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. Yeah, like why was she near the folding screen? 
Oh my god, I don't know why. Dude, this is... Do I even have anything? Like, nothing? Like... This was nothing. This key... When she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. Mm. Let me see. She had to put some distance for something, and uh, I don't, I don't know. There must be a piece. Oh, that's not even the right voice. There must be a piece of evidence. That oh my god, I don't know, dude. Oh, was it the folding screen? The folding screen. This this is where I do it, right? Yeah, it has to be. Okay, because I remember presenting that first, and then I, I was wrong. Okay, so this is where... Okay, whew. So let me... Uh, yeah, I don't know either. This is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that? A folding screen? I would like to point... Um, the court's attention to the hole in the folding screen. <gasps> ah! It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Who, what, where, where, why? Mr. Roy, your explanation, please. And these two are really clueless. Like, that's what I'm saying, like... The bullet went through the defendant's sleeves first, then the folding screen. It passed through at a height of approximately 8 inches off the ground, which means... When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. Yes. Cameron, I woke back up. I was half asleep hearing you with my headphones. Bruh. <laughs> no, it's okay, because this game is very relaxing, too. Order, order. This changes everything. Please take a look at the diet diagram from the crime scene um the victim dr gray was where he was fired blah, blah, blah. the bullet hole the bullet hit the pulling screen it hit the location about eight inches off the ground at the time the defendant was in this area oh huh uh i guess here was it she in front or be like in front, right? Here? Oh. She was standing here near the folding screen. Wait a second. We know the defendant was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole. But how can you gouge the distance from that? Gauge, not gouge. Isn't it isn't it possible that the defendant was standing much closer to uh, to the victim? Mm -mm. That's impossible. But why? You of all people should know the answer to that question. Ah, I think I know what he's getting at. I think I know. Yep. If it was shot any closer, it would have been gunpowder burns. Yeah. Yep. I. Alright. There's nothing of that sort around the bullet hole of the costume. I think he said 12 to 20 inches away well I don't know I mean I, I feel like 20 inches is not that close I don't know is it 20 feet or 20 inches I, I forgot what he just said 20 centimeters or something I don't know ah cuss you Mr. Phoenix tonight you hmm I believe I believe it has been I believe it has now been proven that the defendant was standing away from the victim when she was shot. When she was shot at. But do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? It doesn't change anything. It changes. It does change everything because if she. Um. Actually, I don't even know if it does. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of like. I just, I'm scared to say no, it doesn't change, like, if I'm, like, not gonna, like, pass this case. So I'm always gonna say yes, if it makes sense. 
it changes everything I think honestly your honor this changes everything the prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing if that were true delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal however where and what was the defendant doing at the time squatting all the way by the folding screen exactly if Maya Faye was the real murderer why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing for the strike ready strike yeah <sighs> Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there was no, there'd be reason around them, uh, whatever. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. Oof. All right. With this, the rest of the trial should be in the. Oh God! Blast radius of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Light. To think you have been able to take a complete hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa has had, had a tough time with, with you. Hmm, you amuse me. Uh, all the things to inherit. Why does she have to be that smarmy? Smart? Smarmy? What? I don't think I've ever seen that. Detective. How dare you damage my perfect logic? Huh? How is it, Mom? You can start rep repairing your stand your standing by first removing that third D goatee. That wait, three strand goatee? Wait, I said third degree. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. He doesn't have a goatee. He like three strands of hair or something like punishment. Well then, Your Honor, I think I've had all I can take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Next witness. Imagine having a third degree goatee. <laughs> I know. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. Okay, good. Oh my god. Ah, oh, thank god. Because I was going to say, like, I need a mental, like. I don't even know who the next witness is, but we're going to need a mental, like, break from that. Yes, save my progress, please. Um, wait, let me make sure. Okay, save it over this file, right? Okay, good. Yes. <sighs> okay, well, what do you guys want to do? Should I continue or stop here? Actually, where my pizza at? Because if everybody who is lurking does want to continue watching this, then I guess I could. But so far, what do you guys think? Like, I feel like, I still think that Maya is not guilty. I don't know how, I don't know how I can prove it, but I think that she is not guilty. And Mochi screaming at me outside my door. Whatever you like, Pogma. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Because we're so into this, let me just at least and let me just at least get one slice in before continuing. Come up and lie. I, I usually like unfinished right games like Sorry. <laughs> I usually end Phoenix Rice games within like the three hour mark, but it, it hasn't even been like an hour and a half yet. Like So let me just at least eat like my one slice at least. And I'll continue. This is like to make up, I guess, for the rest of the days that I um 
this stream has been interesting. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't want to stop too soon, but then, like, I usually stop at the, you know, the to-be-continued part. Mm-mm. Mm Sorry about the ASMR. This is so good. It's so good. I'm sorry. This pizza is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have been eating all day. But then again, like, I haven't even woken up since late long story short i got home late last night and i i had slept in most of my morning so yeah this is like my first meal right now so <clears throat> hold on i'm almost done with my second my second mini slice bad hold on i got like three bites left <laughs> i'm trying to like stuff this in my face but are oh, you here you hear mochi really I'm not done with the pizza, but I'm done with my, my second mini slice. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I pressed the button. I, I picked up my controller and I pressed it by accident. Okay. Mochi. Mochi. He's like lonely out there. I'm sorry, Mochi. Alright. Oh my god, stop. Do not. Mochi, stop. My cat is like tearing down my door right now. Okay. I know. <clears throat> I know you were giving it up <laughs> to defend me. He's like, keep me going. Oh my god. Uh, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. I feel like I was pretty close to dying myself. Oh my god, Pearly! But you were wonderful out there. You listen carefully. Make your ways and tricked everyone into believing you. Thanks. Wait, tricked? <laughs> that must be the warrior's se um, secret technique, right? I know, pearlies is so adorable. Pearly pearlies, yes. She has a perfect nickname, it's so cute. By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, wait, lot of heart. Oh, I guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you'd save me. If you lose, me and my sis ghost will come and will come after you and haunt you. Your sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yes. Do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, 
it's okay, pearls. It's okay. And there goes Mochi. He wants to be inside my room, but he will walk all over my freaking keyboards and like type garbageness in here. Like, we don't need that, so sorry, Mochi. Court will not reconvene. No, the first order of. Ouch! I don't want to hear it, old man. Oh my god. After I called my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Jesus Christ, I can't. <laughs> yes, sir. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. Okay, this is where I, like, I gotta do my horrible country southern accent. Like, please, don't judge. Witness your name and occupation, if you please. Hey Phoenix, how you doing? Just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't expect it. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know. Yowzers. Name and occupation. I declare what in tarnation? Hey judge. This here violence against my fair self. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It ain't fine. That's a whip. <laughs> She's so funny. There's no need for foolish outcries or foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what's happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gotten to say my name and job yet. God, that is a horrible accent I'm doing. Is she knocking down things off the table? My name's Lada Hart, paranormal photographer. And I'm here to testify. No, no, let's all be one big happy family, okay? I love you. You love me. Oh my god, Mochi, please. Okay. Now the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber, okay? We were waiting outside the door and bang, we heard the gunshot. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what song I was singing, right? The freaking... It was not the Grimace. It's the other purple big guy. The purple dinosaur. Well, what is Grimace? A dinosaur? Or like... A, a monster or something. Yeah, alright. Alright, sorry. My, my phone was ringing off. Um... Barney the big freaking dinosaur. Yeah, the Grimace is just a freaking blob. <laughs> oh my god. That is brutal, dude. Okay, Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Inside was a dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol waving a pistol around. Okay, Lada, that is ridiculous. There is no freaking way. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. And did you take a picture of the of the scene right after the murder took place? Wrecking course. Uh, excuse me. Wrecking course. It's sure for you reckon. You reckon? Of course I did. Oh my god. Does it look like the I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. What will it what will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. This here's the picture. Uh wait, can, can I like see it like better without all the tech stuff? Hold on, wait, I gotta zoom in. Okay. Let's it looks like Maya. Dr. Gray's anatomy ass, and then, um, hmm, it would, it would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in that room. Hmm, picture taken in the murder scene. 
Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Knight? I will care I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross animation. Just watch me. Okay. Only the doctor and the friend that went in the channel chamber. We know that we also all followed in there. It was me, her, and the freaking Pearly's mom, which is uh this lady. Morgan Faye. Wait, how old is Von Karm? Oh my, she's 18? I thought she was like 20 something. How did, how did you become a prosecutor at 13? That's ridiculous. Okay, um, was it really only those two that went in? Objection. What are you blabbering about? You were there too, weren't you not? Why don't you answer that to yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes, Dr. Gray and Maya were the only two that went into- yeah, yeah. Hold on, we can't have the defense discipline against his own client. <laughs> anyway, folks, only the two of them went in the challenge chamber, you, you hear? But you know that from the very beginning, done, didn't you? Witness, continue. That's dumb. She gonna get some karma. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I didn't even read this one. We were wait, we were waiting outside the door, and then bang, we hear a gunshot. Was it really a gunshot? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Ugh. Why didn't you testify for the court, Mr. Finkslide? Was it really a drone shot? Yes, I think it was something like, sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to a defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know. And I tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. Now this, this is where the story heats up. Mr. Lawyer broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Okay. So let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down. Honestly, Mr. Phoenix advice. Why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Ms. Von Karma. I broke the door down, sorry. Why does this feel like I'm in Inquisition? No need for apolo apologizing. This is great. You're a real man. Oh, really? There's... That's something I would have liked to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I take that as a good sign. And what did you see once you were broke in? Inside with the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol, waving a pistol. Oh my, there's no way she was waving a freaking pistol around, dude. Are you sure it was the defendant? Yeah, you can't even see her face. You literally cannot even see her face, dude. Like, all you, all you can see is her hair. Is that her hair? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even want to see like, the back of her hair. I like, can't even see anything else. How do you know if it's her? Sure, I'm sure. Lada seems awfully confident in her testimony. Uh, see what? Whenever there, there's a there's a thing that's like, oh, press harder or leave it alone or whatever. I always press harder, and nine times out of ten is usually the case. Usually good. I never got penalized yet, so we'll we'll just keep pressing. Let's press. Let's press hard. Lada, please think back to the day, to that day one more time. What you getting at? <laughs> remember what you said when we broke into the room? Oh, I remember. She was like, that's Maya? I, I was moited. Click. 
all that at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? Oh, she even questioned if it was. When you saw the murderer at the time, you couldn't even tell if it was freaking Maya or not. Am I correct? Okay, he didn't say freaking. Uh, well, you say. Yeah, we're all seeing. Order, Miss Hart. You are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, sorry. Good, this shifts things back into my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix writes. Witness, think back to when you two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered. One of those people that entered the channeling chamber was Maya Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. It looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Faye. Exactly. Rats. And I'm sub and I trapped like one rats and I'm trapped like one again. Ew. I swear, other than those two, there were no one else in the room. Hmm. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure, I'm sure. But that old witch chased us out of the room, so... <laughs> the old witch? Are you calling... Does she mean... Yeah, Morgan. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean to do that. But there was no room... No one else in there, and you know it. The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. There was... Was there really no one else in there? What about... Uh... Wait, what? Behind the fold... Wait, what are the choices? Behind the folding screen? Behind the door? Under the flooring? Hmm... What should we do? There was- wait, 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 wait. Where's that diagram of the, the floor? Oh, there is some gap between there. Cause I thought the, the folding screen was just against the wall itself, but there is some space there. Okay, so there's behind the folding screen, behind behind the door. So wait, what, what, where's that other picture of the, um, the new one that I got? You can't even see this freaking door in this one. Yeah, you can't see the door. Hold on. Where's, where's the other one? What's this one? That's a channeling chamber. It doesn't show where the door is open. Okay, so these are where the door is open. I mean, maybe behind, like, if the door opened, like, wide enough and you can hide in that corner. Uh, I don't really remember, dude. Like, what's this picture? Oh, it doesn't show anything. Um... Under the flooring? Is there anything under the flooring? Um, let me see. Maybe like the carpet or something, no? Like the bed? Or the hammock or whatever, the, the little thingy? Hmm. Is there any secret ledges, like hatches and stuff? So there could be like, I don't think there's a secret door. I feel like if there was a secret door, his body would have flipped over or something. Or at least... I don't know. Okay, there could be a secret door behind the folding screen or behind the door. I don't know which one it is. Man, I don't know. Okay, I, I'll just go... What do you guys think? Behind the folding screen. I feel like no one even... Well, I know that... Morgan Lady, the Morgan Fang, Morgan Fay. What is her name? She literally rushed everyone out that room. I remember she she rushed everyone out, so we couldn't even check anywhere, like behind doors or like under the like we couldn't even check anything. So 
Hmm, I'm still scared to answer. No, it's okay. Like, I'm just trying to like brainstorm every single possibility. Like, even if it sounds ridiculous, I, I still want to hear it. Hmm. Well, good thing is, I don't have a life bar. So, I think I have chances. So, I'm going to just go with the one on the top. Like, I'll just go down all the choices. I'll start with the one on the top. What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Alright. <clears throat> Give reckon. Huh? What in the... Give reckon, you know? You reckon? That's a given. I took me a good look around the room once. There ain't no way... There ain't no way anyone was hanging out, hanging out behind that folding screen. Hmm, if I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. What? You got a problem? Give, reckon? I mean, I'm having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop saying so- <laughs> I can't even read it because it went by so fast. Now, now then, Mr. Phoenix Vite. Do you see a problem with the testimony or don't you? Uh, just as I thought. There is nothing wrong with her testimony. It was with her. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. Oh, God. It's hard. Enough. It seems that there is no... In, it seems like there is no issues with Mrs. Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the challenge chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray... Doctor turn her grade, and the the and the defendant Maya Faye. Turn turn her grade, turn her grade. Like what is that? Is that like a pun or something? Hmm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have been the defendant. Turn her. Turn gray. What am I supposed to do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. Oh god, oh god, I hate the life bar. Why life bar gotta pop up, dude? If I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. No, please. Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not Maya in that photo? Uh, life bar, aka ass bar. Oh my god, can't present anything yet. Present evidence. God, I don't know. What do I, okay? Uh, I do have chances, so even if I mess up, I do have chances. What do you guys think? Do you think I have ev evidence? Hmm. What is this key about? Like, why do I have this key? Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, there's a... Uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, oh my god. I don't I don't know. You know what? We're, we're just gonna go down the evidence then. No? I got chances, right? Your honor. Mr. Wright. It is possible that the person in this photo is not the defendant. What? Do you know what you're saying? What you're proposing? Yeah, that's just plain fool's talk. Thanks, guys. You sure your support is really great. Now then, Mr. Wright. Please show the court some proof. Proof 
to the court that the person in this photo is not Maya Faye? Um, I think it's because the fruit knife. <laughs> no. I... Can I check this? I wish I can rotate it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so the bullet hole is in what sleeve? The left, right? Okay, so it's in the left sleeve. And then this picture shows... Oh, it didn't show the sleeve. Dang. Dang it, dude. I was gonna say, like, I wish I can see the sleeves, but it doesn't show it. Hmm. I can't even see where the blood is, either. You can't even see where it, they, they shot the little bullet hole for the thing. Hmm. Dang. I was, I was about to go like, okay, which, which hand, you know? Oh my god, this is hard. Why do I have that key? Okay, it's not the newspaper clipping. It's not this magnetama. Okay, it's not any- I'm assuming it's not any of these. From this newspaper clipping over to the left. It's not these. One, one, two, three, four, five. It's not any of, any of those. So it's either this and over to the right. <sighs> but how would a folding screen prove that it's not her though? And the black key. You know what? Since I already presented the folding screen, and I don't know why I had this black key, I'm just gonna go down the list. One of these things, it has to be it. I don't have that much evidence now, so I mean, it has to be one of these things. We just have to do trial and error. Wait, what? That was it? That was actually it? Where is your proof? What? Why? Why is it the key? I, I was just doing trial and error. I didn't even realize it was actually... Is there a problem? Oh no, I thought I would work... Oh, it's not the thing. Okay. Just wondering on the objection with the twist you're wrong sounds like... Oh. See? Ah, uh, okay. It's not the key. I thought it was. I, why did it trick me like that? Like, what the heck? Present another piece. Oh my god. Do I? Okay, I I feel like I... Since they're giving me the option to give up, I'll come back. I'll come back to this. Because they're saying that I don't have it yet. Because, like, I don't know what else, dude. If I give up, do I lose the case or do I just like stop with this? Because I, I was pressing one part of her story. I want to get back to that part, but I'll give up for now. Hold on, let me. Hello, Mr. Wright. I hope I didn't make the right, the wrong choice. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not me a fay. I didn't see anything about giving up. I just didn't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. Okay. Yeah, that's different. I didn't want to give up the case. Just give up on that testimony. That part of her testimony. That's enough. Is, is it it? Is it all I can do? I think it's quite obvious to the court that the verdict is n of not guilty is not possible. I told you. I told you. Totally. 100% impossible. Miss Von Karman. Do you have any further questions for the witness? Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions are you pursuing? I couldn't protect Maya. The defense. The defense. Oh no. Did I, did I lose? Phoenix. Wait, what? You can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. Maya. I mean, Mia. What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell is that? Is that Pearls? Wait, she channeled Mia? I... 
<clears throat> Wait, what was her voice? What was Mia's voice? I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? You, but pearls! Her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I actually look you forgot her voice. Well I'll try to make it like sound like like one of those like I don't know how to describe it, but like you know what I mean. Like, you know, one of those 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 kind of voices. But how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? Uh, Dr. Gray, click. I was moided. What? Click. Oh, there's two cameras. I mean, two screenshots. I mean, photographs, God. Lotta, at a time like this. Time like this are perfect for snapping up shots. So she has two. Ah, you see? There is one final piece to this puzzle. Mia. Question Lotta one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it on consciously or on purpose but she's not testifying truthfully i don't know why she's doing that no then this court would like to end the cross-examination period <laughs> please wait your honor the defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time overruled i'm afraid you're too late mr wright the cross-examination has already ended furthermore yeah it's fine. I'll allow, I'll allow another testimony. A Van Karma case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? But I mean, I have my place. I have my place, not please. I must go after this. Um, alright, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us your other testimony, whatever. Hmm, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more uh, what happened when you burst into the chanting chamber room. Your Von Karma voice is accurate. <laughs> I know I'm trying to like, sound like a, like a Russian, like, Slavic. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm just trying, okay? I'm trying my best. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy you like the voice, King Kev, and welcome. <laughs> Hold on. That is too funny. I'm trying to give everyone like a nice voice acting. Except for Phoenix. Phoenix, I don't know what his voice is. I keep forgetting it. Okay, you got it. See, you go through the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got to him. Hey, Gemma, how's the crit case going? It's going... It's We're, we're not at a game over yet, so that's good. And I'm actually finding out a lot about this case. Okay, so when we broke broke into the room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a look at it yet. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Mm. You didn't take one shot, you took two, actually. Nothing sounds dif different from before. Some parts in her testimony, yeah, it's, it's very vague. She said she said she took a shot. I'm, I know Mia, what was her name? Mia. She um, told us just now that there was two shots that Maya took. Be right back. All right, Emma. Hey, King Kev. Hey, Maya. Hey, Emma. Oh, my God. See, I keep calling Emma, Maya, and Maya. Oh, my God. My brain. I should press her on these sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless question, Mr. Phoenix Vites. I'm waiting. 
<laughs> there are like a few people that I actually do like voice acting. I like voice acting Von Karma. I like there was this other girl, the freaking what is her name? Hold on. Uh, if I can show you. Yes, her. The her voice cuz like the way how she speaks she's like like silly. Like and I, and it was just natural for me to just voice her. So I didn't have to try at all like her and um Bon Carm Oh what? What the hell is that? Oh her, Bon Karma and Pearlies are the ones that I actually like to voice act. Everyone else is kinda like, I'll just try my best to do it. Okay, when you broke into the room, all I can focus on was my okay, so let's press this one. Let's just get information out. So <clears throat> what did you look what did she look like? You know, she looked okay. My horrible accent is this country accent. Like I, I cannot do a lot of hard accents. She's supposed to sound like a, I guess like a country person or I don't know. You know, she looked almost like a different person. A different person. She may have seemed like a different person. However, she was still my affair. We have already made that point abundantly clear. Clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you happen to see anything else? Uh, I was kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a look at it. Okay, so let's press this. Then perhaps this body was not Dr. Gray's at all. Uh, well, I reckon that's possible. If, if the bot... <clears throat> What was her accent again? I forgot. <laughs> if her... I forgot how to do a Russian accent. What's wrong with me? Dude, what is happening when I bring? I need more pizza. Like, oh wait, let me get one more pizza. A piece of pizza. Hmm. I just want you to chew one more bite. I remember now. If the body inside the room was not that of Dr. Gray's, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix White? Well, what if it was that of Maya Faze from the Chilling or me? Yeah, no, I don't think it was that. Foolish fool sprouting foolish foolishness that just as I expect of a foolish fool such as you. If that was the case, then that would mean that Maya Fey is in fact dead. And that would make the defense chair the defendant chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Oh, sorry, Maya. Are y'all done yet? Can I continue? <laughs> That's funny. I'm really bad when it comes to the blood and ghosts and stuff. Okay, do I press this? I you know I'm just gonna press it. I'm pr I'll press everything. And even without, and even knowing that you still pers persist in being a paranormal photographer, that's why I'm getting out of this hair business. This gal's gonna get the dirt on the stars and be a tabloid photographer from now on. She goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix of that. Would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Whoa, wouldn't it, Mr. Oh my god. Nice tag team on the in stereo. Guess I should be grateful it's not in 5.0. 5.1. But I still managed to get the point my camera and mine take a shot. You did not take a shot, you took two. You, uh, you definitely took two shots, though. Yeah, you took two. Two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where is the other picture you have been withholding? No, no, you got it all wrong. It ain't me. I didn't mean anything bad. I know it can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then what? 
Why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Take that. Yeah. Well, ain't, ain't it obvious? That prosecutor woman told me not to keep my mouth sh to, to shut my trap about it. <laughs> what? Von Karma. Dun, dun, dun. Hold it. Objection. Gotcha. Miss Von Karma, you, you're you holding crucial evidence? Critical evidence? Unforgivable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this. You're as bad as your father. Um... I don't even know if I can choose. Like... Confront Francesca. Leave it to the judge. Um, I want to confront her because Phoenix Wright is a man. Your Honor, the defense acts the prosecutor Von Karma be withheld in the kept of court. Hmm, well, yeah, yeah, me in contempt of court? You can't be serious. But you just hid evidence from the court on purpose. That's. That's not fair. What? Oh my god. Hey, Kev. Hey, Green. Mr. Phoenix. I mean, Phoenix. Are you a lawyer or a school child? I was angry. I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to the court? I thought this picture was not important and thus left no need to submit it. So that's all. How could you think the picture was more and the same was more or less the same so why bother with the second i mean it's just as much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit at this as evidence okay i want i want to see the picture though. i just want to see the picture can we just see the picture please more trouble that it's worth how 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 can you say that if you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Thank you, finally. Can we freaking see it now? I I freaking knew it. I already see what the contradiction is. I don't see no bullet hole. I, I already see no bullet hole. I already see no bullet hole. I already see it. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the where's the freaking robe? I already see it. That is not Maya. I already freaking see it, dude. I already see it. I already knew it, because I was like, okay, if we can see, like, a face, like, a, a clear shot face of her. Dude, there's no freaking way. Alright, so, now we know that that is not Maya. How can I prove it now? It's obvious the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of crime. Well, it's... It's a little off-center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Um, I think the important point here is the person in this picture. That is most definitely not- Yeah, that is not her. That is literally not her. I don't see no bullet hole. I don't see anything. She literally just has, like, a different face. What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I, should I or should I not insist that the person is in the picture is not Maya? It's not her. It's not her. It's not her. It's not. And, and I know I can prove it because I, the freaking bullet hole is not in her in her in her thing. It's not in her. In, it's not in her sleeves. Who the hell is that? Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the pic the person in the picture is not Maya Faye. Yes, I see that. It's not just her, her face, her whole body has taken a different appearance. And there is only one conclusion that can be drawn here. That somehow this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. Yes, that makes more sense. But that is not freaking Maya, dude. Order, order, order. Well, yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channel chamber was not my fae. Mia, we did it. You're too soft. Huh? 
your softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at the prosecutor Von Karma's face. She's smiling. I think you'd better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Knight. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. Who took that picture, dude? Oh my god. What type of creep? It was taken yesterday at the defendant center visiting room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant Maya Fay doing this visit. That's Maya Fay? But isn't that a totally different person? She looks this way because she is obviously in the in the middle of channeling a spirit. But that's, that's not my point, okay? My point was the sleeves, dude. That bullet hole was not there. It's unbelievable. This, other uh, she can be. Yet, it is the truth. When Maya Faye is in that state, her physical body changes into a person she's calling. I know I added words in it. It's okay. All right. Miss Von Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. Mia, taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you know that picture cannot be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal, but I never intend to submit it as ev as evidence in the first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine it's not all yours because i don't see no bullet hole after all the image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind i don't have even a single witty line it looks like we've been we've had we've been had we've been had I don't claim to understand this and still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant Maya Faye? If I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. It's not Maya. It's not Maya. It's not. I, I can prove that it's... Because I actually, I want to try to submit that, that robe. If it's not the robe, then I don't know what it is. <laughs> I can prove it. Your Honor. Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture. Within this picture lies a, con a crucial contradiction to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? Yes. So you, you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out? Wait. Oh, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Can, can I look back at that photo? What which sleeve was it on? Which dang? Which 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 hole was it in? Okay, when we looked at the garment on the inside, it, I think it was on this side. I think, yeah. It's like somewhere down here. Was it X? I hope I'm right. Please direct your attention. My leg is cramping up. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm sitting in a cramped up position. Please direct your attention here. To the sleeve. But there isn't anything about... There isn't anything odd about it. Yeah. And that exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Shouldn't be there. Ah! There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in the picture as well. Yeah. Miss Von Karma, you... 
You intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence. You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. Alright, this should do some major damage to her argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the... Oh wait, that's not the right voice. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Von Karma's face. Ugh, she's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. <laughs> tis, tis. Jumping to the gun, I see. Jumping to the gun again, I see. Your Honor. I would, I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. Oh? Maya! Back Poggy. Welcome back, Maya. Gemma, you got her. I'm calling this court case closed. Yeah, like, she literally, like, it's the freaking boat. Okay, so, but who the hell is that, though? What do you, what do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I would not have known that this fixture was of any value uh, to this case. Oh, uh, she's just, uh, she's trying to like, she, she called me Maya. Oh my god, wait, I said Maya? Oh my god, stop, no. I said Maya. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, the thing is, it's, it's too much. It's too much A's. Everyone has a, like a bunch of A's at the end of their names. Maya, Mia, Emma, Gemma. It's okay. Pogma sits. No, it's not okay. I gotta go, I gotta be held in contempt of court. <laughs> hmm, I see. She's lying through her teeth. I know it. That woman knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Francesca von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not to worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that the detective gets what's coming. So she avoid getting the penalty because... Uh, she's... I don't know. That's crazy. I'm sure there will be a great garnishing of teeth ga gnashing of teeth at his next salary discussion poor gumshoe it looks like an imposter bum 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 <laughs> wait i didn't even read the thing i pressed i pressed it too fast when when the defendant was taken into custody her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by this strange twist of fate. Yeah, like... Wait, how, how does that make any sense? Okay, okay, so if... Okay, okay, so Okay, so what I'm thinking is because we were all convinced that this That Maya was was kneeling in front of the folding screen for this to happen Oh away from like the the thing like she was kneeling like in this little corner where this box is like in front of the folding screen like right here but she obviously that wasn't her because this person who's standing in this freaking photo doesn't have any bullet holes in her thing but that's interesting so where was maya she was behind the folding screen like was she like bending over or something like i, I don't i don't get it Wow, I'm slowly starting to get this case, but I'm not getting it. <clears throat> but yeah, thank you for the six likes. 
The judge, the judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all, load all you've got into this one shot. Oh my God! What the heck? I don't even feel right reading that. That's disgusting. Your Honor. Wait, there is only one logical explanation for this harm tree. Okay, this picture is fake. No, it's not fake. The the bullet hole was made later. No. The shooter is someone else. Yes, that's not Maya. Like, why is it even like? Why is there even options? Like, the shooter is someone else. I better be right. I swear to God, if I lose life, the defendant's sleeves had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly doesn't. There can only be one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? Why do people look at the same in the, in the stands? Order, order, order. If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial and take a fat dump. Yo, oh my god, why me? The defense, the defense's argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness. I love this corner theme. Not as much as Apollo Justice corner theme, though. Oh, the, um... I think Apollo Justice... Is it after this game, or is it after... Because I have the trilogy. I have Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. This is the second one. Phoenix Wright, Ace, Ace Attorney... Justice for All. And then the third one, I think, is Trials and Tribulations. But I haven't played that one yet. Why is she slamming the damn table like that? Ow, what the heck? Is that any way it acts a gal a favor? <laughs> big, big fight, it's you. You were the one who said it was only... It was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you're lying, I swear that my whip will be the last thing you see. <laughs> She's like slamming the table, dude. I love this quote. Oh, you read that. So let me, the, the, tab the table banging seek with the song for a bit. Oh, it was. <laughs> dun, dun. Oh, the slamming. Look, sis. Yo, you're looking mighty scary. So why don't we say you... Yow. I swear I was lying on... I wasn't lying on nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix invites. Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Um, why is it like lately when... Why is it lately all I want to do is cry? Oh my god, Phoenix. Yeah, Apollo is after child. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha. That is a lot of games that I get. I hope they port Apollo Justice after Trials and Tribulations. Trials and Tribulations. Well, if the person in the picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Vite. Come on. You can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. I don't even know anything. Uh, like, I'm just finding out this person is not her. Like, I don't know where where she came from. She probably was hiding there the whole freaking time, dude. But why? And who is she? I can't believe this even... That even Maya calling me by my full name. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove it? Something like, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Knight? Or do you think... Or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix. So where did this intruder appear from? And where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at these situations at this situation from a different angle. 
Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third party was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? Uh, maybe. You are right, Gemma. Your English is off. <laughs> I don't have my pizza. Like, I literally, I'm reading everything, like... Out of order, like it, it's okay. We're all here just to, just to have fun and enjoy the the game. I probably did make a bunch of typos, but I have to voice act like ten million people, dude. Like, like ten thousand people, I should say. There's gonna be typos and slip ups. That's just bound to happen. If I could prove that either one of those conditions were true, <laughs> that's understandable. Because the thing is, I was trying to like. Um, stream this to my server to have like people from my server who wanted to voice act but the lag from the stream because like even though I have like ultra ultra was it ultra low latency it was still some lag like I think like three or four seconds so it just made things like a little bit awkward when it was reading and whatever so it's like yeah I, I was like you know it's, it's okay I might as well just do the voice acting for everything it's fine so I, I have to voice act the judge Phoenix Maya Mia everybody like, I was hoping, like, everyone could, like, help me, at least whoever wants to voice act in, the, in my Discord, but now I have to voice act everybody, so I'm trying to, like, not forget certain people's voices, and, yeah, it's... And I didn't even eat yet. It's, I, I still have my pizza, like, still right here. If you stream Apollo Justice, I will gladly voice act Apollo. Oh! They, they should port it on Switch. I hope you do. Or some way I can play it, and I, I can, like, play it on stream, because I would definitely love to play it. I'll play all the Phoenix Wright games. I would love to. All right, all right, let's hear what you've come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into the challenge chamber is a third person had entered it. Maya had left the room. Something I can't explain yet. Oh my god. Okay, I think the third person already was in there. I think. Right? No? Yes? I don't know. Your Honor, I would like to present some evidence. Oh god, am I wrong? I have proof that there was someone else in that room before the murder took place. Oh no, do I have proof or no? No, I don't think I do. Uh, I don't think I do. Ah! Is it the folding screen? Cause that, that's where the, the bullet hole was for Maya. Do I present that? If, if I don't, if I present this, then I don't know. Please take a look at this. Okay. I've already seen it. Thank you. And what is the purpose of this item? Don't you see, Your Honor? I don't think you actually see what you're doing. Wait, what? I think this is a chord that you should be signed. Oh, I was wrong. Oh my god. No, okay. Present another piece. Think it over again. Uh, I'll think it over again. I think the way I'm going about this is all wrong. I have to start over from the beginning, okay. What if before we broke in, the third party was already in the room? And what if Maya had left the room somehow? So... Um, do I not have it? Because I literally remember seeing Maya walking in the freaking room that day. Something I can't explain. Um, maybe this? I don't know. Am I wrong? I'm sorry, but I simply cannot. You see? And the reason is quite simple, because there is no explanation, that's why. Hmm, as I thought, another big waste of- oh my god, my court's time. Phoenix, you can't just give up like that. But Mia, rethink things one more time, there has to be an explanation. I'm already perfect, so of course my conclusions are also perfect. 
Uh, all right, Phoenix. Calm down and let's try this one more. I was wrong. Oh my god. Okay, so it has to be Maya left the room. How did she leave the room? She walked in. Oh my god. Okay, so Maya left the room. Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point. And the defense can prove this. I don't know how to prove it! Don't say that! I don't know! And how a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish dreams. Maya... Faye... Oh, sorry. Was being looked after by her aunt, Morgan Faye. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than the detective's salary. Anyway, let's see some some evidence. Proof that from the murder until from the murder until the time of arrest, the defendant had left the room. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Who gave me this key? Okay, there's a pistol, the autopsy report, the knife, Maya's bullet hole costume, this picture from this angle, this picture that's clearly not Maya. There's new newspaper clipping, the diorama. Uh, okay, I, I don't think it's the folding screen anymore. I'm not gonna try for that. Um. I don't know what this key is, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, because I, I literally tried every other option. Okay, so Maya left the room, and if there's a third person, try taking a look at evidence that include pictures of evidence of people. Oh, I can present profiles. I forgot. I totally forgot. That was the difference between this game and the other game. You can present profiles and evidence. Oh, okay, so if I'm wrong with this one, okay, so I'll, I'll, uh, um, I'll present, wait, I'll present this key, but if I'm wrong, I'll go back to the thing that you said, I I'll try that, and I'll present the picture, but I don't know who, who was, who else was in the freaking, oh, I don't know, I, I guess I'll go through everything, wait, that was it? That was it? Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I seen it. Yeah, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. Oh, it locked from the inside. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key is the only way... That key is the only one of its kind after all. Or use the key. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know it was the key. I was I never used the key yet, so I, I used it before earlier and I was wrong. I used the 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 um the folding screen I was wrong. I was just gonna use every all the regular evidence, but I forgot about the picture evidence. I forgot. Like we can use profiles now. Okay, I gotta remember that. We can use profiles. Remember that, Jim, remember that. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Veit. Yes, it looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in the room, then this key should have been with her. That's why the key is important. Because she literally took the freaking key, but why do we have it? That's why I was like, why do I have this key? Like, I don't even know what this key... I honestly forgot what this key was. But they said that, okay, she locked the door from the inside, but then why do we have it? From her time or... From her, like they said, that from her time or her arrest to the... From, from, the, from the time of the murder to her arrest, she should have... They should have found the key on her. We should not have the key. So, yeah, that proves that she was not 
where she was like i guess i don't know <laughs> good thinking java yeah like honestly most of this time i get guesses and i'm i'm as glad that i was guessing correctly <laughs> i'm trying to like make a, a logical story behind it though all right if maya i'll oh, well, keep with her yes agreed however she did not have the key at the time of her arrest yeah well ain't that a kick so how come you're holding it? I don't know. I got this present from a certain little girl. Oh, was it Pearly? Ah, it was Pearls. Ah, and that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. So Pearls found the key. That that's preposterous. Pearly, Pearlies, yes. This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before I uh holding this key you see before you? You see before you? Is that actually I'm not even thinking about any English right now. It's just my brain is just Oof, this game is is great, but the only voice acting is just mentally it seems we have come to a impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. We understand. Nah, it's fine, Pog. Oh, okay. Thank you, Emma. And not Maya, see? I didn't call you Maya this time. However, in this person, the defendant or not. Oh, is this person the defendant or not? See? Oh, I can't even voice acting can be hard sometimes yes because it's like you're trying to switch over between different ones and it's oh my god but yeah thank you for bearing with me guys for the seven six lurking people out there the defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant furthermore as proof this key has been submitted as evidence miss von karma how can this be at this point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilty is not possible. My perfect case. How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Oh my god. Don't you think... Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Bites. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. Hmm. She was doing anything for that guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Or at WWE. Court will now reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. The court is adjourned. Period. Ah, uh, period. Ah. Uh. Okay, so we are done. We're not done? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Seriously? Nah, she lost. GG, get out the court. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. Wow. Oh wait. <clears throat> wow, that was... That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I thought I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, it's not like anyone else has could have done that. What happened? I feel, I fell asleep. Oh my god, Cam, you gotta rewatch the stream. There's too much to uncover it. <laughs> that is too much to uncover it. Hmm, Nick? I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. Her voice so adorable. Oh my god, pearlies. And I don't think that a doy poison could have gone into that room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance? Yeah, I'm counting on you. And I envy the two of you. <laughs> oh, by the way, Nick, do you think you can take Pearly back home for me? Sure. Alright, Pearls. 
You ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? I keep eat. Poor thing. She's so sorry. Oh, it's okay, Pearlies. Joker, Emma, get in there and VA. Voice act. Oh! We reached a, a to be continued. Yes. Oh my god, please. Save, save your progress, please, god. Because that was intense. Okay, this is the file. I should save over two. I'm gonna save over... Um, which one was it? I'll make two justice justices for alls. I'll make it for this one too. Okay, just in case something happens and I accidentally load over something else. Okay, that one is loading up. Okay, so I did not mean to uh, continue that one, but I will definitely continue more of this later on next week. Because I think next week and I'm also free on Sunday um, if I'm not too... Um, if I am not too... What is it called? If I'm not too uncertain. But um, yeah, definitely... That was a great stream, though. Like, I, I loved everything. I loved all of the information I learned. I'm going to end soon, but I just want to, like, you know, just recap everything. So, basically, all right. So, we got Maya, who was not in that room. She somehow left the room because she we have the key. And, um, yeah, we got to find out how she moved and all these other stuff. But, yeah. I'll definitely play through this next Sunday. I'll, I'll keep Sundays for Phoenix Wright. That's just, like, my stream for that game. I feel like I don't want to deal with Splatoon or any other, like, high-level gameplay, whatever. Just, yeah, I'll just keep that in, like, for Sundays only. If anyone else want to tune in and find out what happens next, because I'm curious to find out. And I can't wait to play the Trials and Tribulations next after that, too. But um, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um... Even if you couldn't, you couldn't voice act for this one, but I'll try to figure out, you know, a way we can like get all everybody in for an, another voice acting. But um, like maybe like for like the other games or something like that. I'll try, I'll try again. Maybe for trials and tribulations, but we'll see how the um, how the the lag is if it's not too too bad. But um, yeah. I'm gonna thank Emma, Solemu, King Kev, and Joker. Even though you came at the end, but thanks for stopping by, Cameron. Even though you were sleeping. Uh, Sans just joined us. I remember he he was here. Um, Maddie was here. Um, who else was here? He he, Maddie, Maddie. Oh, Green Squid. Um, Wheezy. Yes. Uh, let's see. I already said that person. Um, all right. So I think I have everybody. If I did miss your name, I'm so sorry. But even if you were lurking, that, that's still fine. But I'll see you guys not tomorrow. But I'll, I'll, I'll be streaming on Sunday as well because I'm off on Sunday. So...